Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how you can display your most selling products of your WooCommerce store on Instagram automatically. So guys, if you want to promote your most selling products of your e-commerce store on Instagram, this automation is for you. And this automation is going to fetch out the details of most selling products of your e-commerce store and a displayable image will be created for that product using Switchboard Canvas application automatically and that same image will be shared on your Instagram account automatically. So you do not have to manually market your most selling products and it will save your time and improve your business. And guys, to set up this automation, we are not going to use any coding. So let's begin. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach this dashboard of Pabli Connect. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up your automation. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here. So I have given the name display most selling products on Instagram and after this click on create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two modules. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow. So when trigger happens, action is going to make perform any action in any other application. Okay. So here in our use case, guys, first of all, we are going to schedule the running of this workflow. Okay. We want to share the most selling products, let's say once in a week or in 15 days uh, on Instagram. So for that, we are going to use scheduler feature of Pabli Connect. So with the help of scheduler, you can schedule the running of your workflow according to your convenient time. Okay. So here you can see it is asking and as I have selected scheduler, it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So here we have many options. You can run it once. You can run it every day at a specific time. You can run it at any day of the week or any date of the month. So let's say every month at any particular date, I want to share the most selling products of my e-commerce store on Instagram. So I'm selecting dates of the month option. And here I'm going to select a date, let's say, uh, at every first of every month, I want to share this. So I'm going to select the time as well. So you can select the time I'm selecting. Let's say 12, 12 o'clock, okay, 12 p.m. I'm selecting, right, and I'm going to save it. So you can see this workflow is scheduled to run at every first of the month at this time, okay. Now guys, uh, what I want uh, after running this, I want that this workflow should capture the details of the most selling product of my WooCommerce store. So for that, we are going to use this action step and here we are going to connect with WooCommerce. And the action event I'm going to use here is get all products. Okay, so you have to select this get all products option. So it is going to fetch the product details of all the products. Then click on connect here. From here, select add new connection and here it will ask for the consumer key, the consumer secret and the website URL. So guys, you will find these two things in the rest API section where you have to add a key. So let me show you that. So this is my WordPress dashboard and here you can see I'm under WooCommerce plugin. So from here you have to click on settings option. And under settings, you will find this advanced tab right here. Click on advanced and under advanced tab, when you scroll down, you will find this rest API option. So click on rest API. And here guys, you have to add a key by clicking on add key button. And that's how you can uh, create the key. So here you have to provide the description of the key. So I am giving the description as most selling product. All right, after select the user and give the permission as read slash write. Okay, then click on generate API key. And your keys will be generated like this, you just have to copy it and paste it here like this. Similarly, copy the secret and paste it here. 
All right. And here under website URL, you have to enter the website URL or the uh, URL of your WooCommerce or e-commerce store. So we are done here. And here you can see on the top search bar, we have this URL. So I'm just going to copy it. This is actually the URL of my WordPress. So just copy this like this and paste it here. So you have to follow these instructions available this example, you have to copy it without any ending slash. Okay. Now click on save and you will be connected like this. Okay. And after that, when you click on save and send test request button, the details of all the products will be fetched here in the response section. But before clicking here, remember to toggle this simple response button to off so that we can capture the data in advanced format. Why we are doing this, I'll tell you later on. Just toggle this off, then click on save and send test request. So guys, when you uh, fetch the response in the advanced format, it will show you the data in this array of data format. So in this array, we have the details of all the products, their uh, details, their creation date and the photos as well. Okay, so we have captured the data in this advanced or array of data format because here I'm going to use a feature of Pabli Connect which is called iterator. For that, just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here, choose iterator. So what iterator will do, iterator is going to segregate this data in one by one form. Starting from the first product, it is going to display the details of first product, then second, then third and so on. And it is going to run this workflow in the exact same sequence one by one for each product. Okay. So, so why we are uh, separating the data one, one by one? because we want to sh display those products only who uh, which are most selling products for that we are going to apply a filter condition also after this step okay so first of all select this iterator and then it will ask for choose the array so here i am going to choose this array the response label array okay for that you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step and the array right here just select it then click on save and send test request and here you can see our iteration can support maximum 500 of the records. Okay, right. And here you can see it started showing the details of first product, which is shoes Booma. So it's a shoe shoe type. Okay, we have shoe product on our e-commerce store. So when you scroll down here, it will show you this label as well, the total sales label. So the total sales label shows you how many orders that you get of this product. So right now it is showing zero. So we do not want to share this product on our Instagram. We want to share the product of which we have got at least 100 orders or more than 100 orders. Okay, the, those products only will be considered as most selling. Okay, so for this, I'm going to ensure this condition. Just click here on this plus icon. And here we are going to use filter option. So with the help of filter, we are going to filter out the products whose, uh, whose orders are more than 100. Okay. And here it is asking select your label. So here I'm going to select this total sales label for that. You just have to click here and from this last iterator step, you can select the sales label like this. Okay. And then you have to select the filter type as greater than, and you have to provide the value here as hundred. So this filter is going to filter out only those products whose orders are more than hundred. Okay, in number and only those products will be displayed as most selling products, right? So I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see right now it is showing the condition is false because here it is showing that sales number is zero. But in real time, whenever there is a product whose sales number is more than 100, this condition will met true and the workflow will continue. And what it will do after continuing it will create a displayable image that we can share on Instagram. And to create that image, we are using Switchboard Canvas application. So guys, here you can see in Switchboard Canvas, I have created a template. So this is the template I have created. And here you can see in this template, here is a image element. And this image element is empty, vacant. And here we have a text element, which is also vacant. So we are going to fill in both of these things using our automation and here our product will be displayed and here the name of the product will be displayed automatically. Okay. 
so to place this image here we need to have the link of that product image link of that product and here you can see guys in this iterator when you scroll down you will find this images label and in this images label when you open it you will find uh, the link of the product image something like this here you can see after this src this is the uh, link of the image of the product let me show you i am selecting the image link let me open it so this is the image link of this product this is a shoe that we are selling okay so guys here you have to fetch out this link from this text okay so to fetch out this link to use it afterwards just click here in this plus icon and here we are going to use text formatter feature of family connect to fetch out that link select text formatter and the action event we are going to use is uh, text parser so text parser is used to parse out a text uh, by giving the text match after or before words let me show you that so ju just select text parser then click on connect and here it will ask for the text from which you want to parse out something so here i am going to map this label this that i have received here this images label okay so just scroll down click here and from the iterator step map this images label okay and here it is asking after which word or which integer or which thing which is string you want to extract the extract something so here you can see guys after this uh, double quotation mark i want to extract this link okay and but we have many double quotation marks here and before the double quotation we have a colon but we have many colons here you can see colon double quotation mark so here i am going to place src as well src double quotation mark then colon del, then double quotation and after this i want to fetch this so i am going to put here src double quotation then a colon then double quotation mark okay and before this double quotation mark i want to fetch this link so here in this text match before field just put this double quotation mark okay then click on save and send test request and here you can see in this result label we got the link fetched out like this okay so now we can use this link to generate a displayable image for that just click here on the plus icon and from this action step search for switchboard canvas and the action event we are going to use is this create image then click on connect from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of switchboard canvas so you'll get the key from the templates page of switchboard so let me show you that page so here i am uh, going under the template section and here you can see we have this view your api key button click on it and this is the post type api key we want we want so just click on copy and paste this key here okay then click on save all right and you can see we are getting connected okay and here it is asking to select the templates name so the name of my template here is this you can see popular products so i'm going to select it like this okay and then it is asking for the width and the height of the image that you want to generate so i'm just going to use the same width and height as of my template so when you select your template on the left right hand side you will find this width and height so you have to put here manually as it is 1919 1079 okay and here you can select the format of the image that you want to generate i'm selecting png and here you can see we have these three fields here image one product image and product name so here you can see in this template we have this element variable the image so this is the the name of this element is product image and here the text element the name of this element is product name and the third element is the background image so i want to keep the background image as it is i do not want to change it i just want to change these two things so i'm going to map the values of these two things here leaving this field link i'm just going to place the image link that we have fetched out from text parser so from the previous step map the 
image link here in this image field and for the product name i'm going to use iterator and here is the name of the product okay then click on save and send test request button and a new image will be created out of this template automatically in front of you here you can see guys in this response section we got the image created and this is the image let me show you that okay so here is the new displayable image we got here you can see the products image placed and the name placed okay so now we can share this image on instagram for that just click here on this plus icon and search for instagram for business here all right and the action event would be publish photo and click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with instagram for business so it might bring you to the login window but i have already logged in in instagram so it got just connected all right and now it is asking to select the name of your account so my account's name is joe okay and it got selected here like this and here it is asking for the photo url so i'm going to map this photo url that we have generated using switchboard canvas here you can give a nice caption if you want or you can place hashtags i'm just going to put here most sold product product this month okay something like that right now you can uh, you can check your connection with instagram by clicking on save and send test request and this image will be shared here inside your account automatically let's see i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the post id generated let me show you let me refresh my instagram profile and here you can see guys a new photo is published here automatically which is the same and the caption is the same that we have generated using switchboard canvas so we are done here this is how you can set up this automation and you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel